Unbelievable. Northern elders in crucial meeting with Buhari says Nigeria is divided. Only Jonathan can unite us. Our group also declares that Jonathan should be given preference over Tinubu because he's the one who can potentially help to um, you know, solve the issue on ground. Now, um, APC and some people holds it very much that um, Buhari or Sibanjo owes Tinubu, okay, that one good turn deserves another, and they owe Tinubu to ensure that now that he has declared for presidency, same way he supported them back in 2015 and 2019, and, they, and, you know, and they became leaders, same way they should also support him. But guess what? Northern elders and leaders do not even want Tinubu after he has sprayed 50, 50 million on them. But besides, don't forget that a few days ago, there, one of the markets in Lagos burnt down. People's shops and all that. 50 million has not been sent to them, by the way, from Tinubu. However, if he's in the north, you would have heard Tinubu's philanthropic work gone there. Yeah? So the north also owes Tinubu, but they will prefer Jonathan because Jonathan only has one tenor. Then the north can come on board again and have an eight-year tenor. Do you understand? So they don't mind... They don't mind sacrificing Tinubu as a sacrificial lamp, if you get what I mean. Let's get all the details. 2023, Northern Elders host crucial meeting with Buhari. Declares Nigeria is divided. Only Jonathan can unite the country. Azawa gives Tinubu up, says Jonathan is the preferred candidate. Former President Goodlucky Billy Jonathan has been endorsed by the prominent political pressure group in the northern region of the country ahead of 2023 election. The group described Jonathan as a bridge builder who will, will with vast experience in managing Nigerian diversity, will be the only one to unite the country again. According to the group, Dr. Jonathan, who also has hand in experience, um, will be a uh, a le who is who is who will not be a learner on the job because he has done it before will be quick to bring Nigeria to her desired position. A political pressure group has called on the Northerners and everyone to support Jonathan, as this will help to heal wounds across the nations and help Nigeria immensely. The North feels cheated by the South. By the time the South come again, as the Southern governors insist, the North will be four years short of leadership. Olusegwa Basanjo ruled for eight years. Omaru Musa Radua did not complete his tenure. Jonathan ruled for six years. Buhari has only ruled for eight years. If, the, if Jonathan comes and complete that, then the North can have an eight-year tenure, and then we can go back to the sharing formula the South is insisting on. This is why the Northern group wants, wants Tinubu sacrificed on the altar so that Jonathan can get the presidency and become president to iron out the differences on currently going. The North insists Jonathan is the man to bring about that unity that Nigeria desire. And Buhari and all from the North must do everything humanly speaking possible to ensure that Jonathan gets the position to become Nigerian's leader again. The North continue to advocate for Jonathan coming on board to become Nigerian's leaders, but Nigerians are tired of the recycling and want a younger Nigerian and ask that everyone who has ever ruled should forget about leadership and allow others, younger Nigerians, to take the leadership position. So this is what is happening currently right now. Yeah, this is what is going on right now. Good luck, Billy Jonathan, testing the waters. Yes, if you've been there before, with the whole serenity, the, the, the whole, everything that comes with being a president. In fact, that's why, you know, you can see that uh, Atiku is begging everybody. Let me just have that position. Even if it's, he said he will only rule for four years. That's why it was like, he has begged Nigerians. That he should just allow him for four years. And after four years, though, he will not even bother again, but he just want to rule. He just want to shall get there. And so they should just crave his indulgence. They should just indulge him and allow him for four years. Afterwards, you know, after four years, then that will be it. So this is what is happening. You know, why Nigerians are craving and are saying, you know, we want a difference. That is quite not happening. It's really sincerely not happening. 
you see, is really, really sincerely not happening. And that is why everybody and every one of us must continue to speak out against, you know, oppression and wrongdoing in our land. You see, if you listen to the Northern Statement, it is not because they love Jonathan. No. What they're saying is that Jonathan will help to end the, the, the indifference people are feeling. And as a result, Jonathan will be the best candidate for them to be able to get to that desired destination. And so everybody should please support Jonathan. Uh, not because Jonathan is the best person, but because they want Jonathan to come on board. And if he comes on board, then the North would have completed the other uh, four years they want to. And by then, uh, Jonathan can now, uh, the, the sharing formula between the North and the South can now start. They feel that uh, the South has cheated them. And I'm wondering, what is this cheating all about? The South has cheated them. How did they not rule that we are confident as Nigerians to say, okay, Northerners should be there again? Are you sure Nigerians are confident of that? Are you sure Nigerians want to go back to that position again? Don't you know that Nigerians are just counting down? And besides region, you know, uh, wherever anybody is coming from, we just won't see. Nigerians are not greedy people. I can, I can assure you of that. We just want men and women who are honest and really want a change in this nation. We just want men and women who are sincere. We want men and women who honestly want, you know, to do something worthwhile for this country and not just anybody, okay? Not just anybody because you have a scores to settle and you and your people, your persons, uh, you know, are settling your scores and as a result, you know, you are just there and so we have to bear with the bonds because you guys, you know, you want one thing or another. So not because Jonathan ruled well and so they want him, if he has fought four years, he should come and, you know, display the expatriates of what he did. But because they want to, you know, Scott settle scores, how does that go well with the nation? How does this solve the issue on ground? Leave us a comment because um, these things are quite very annoying. You know, what some people decide because of sentiment. And this is why there's nepotism in the country and the country is not moving forward. When will Nigeria exactly move forward? When? When exactly? When we, when we begin to move forward? Leave us a comment. God bless you. Have a lovely and a fantastic day. Remember, you have a voice. Let it count. Okay? Let's speak out against wrongdoing. God bless. Have a good day. Bye for now.